more than we could chew! Is our ticket. All right, give that button a push, brother. That wasn't a very warm welcome. Guess this one's all business and no pleasure. Over here! Oh, hey, check this out. An ammo transit supply terminal, huh? Looks like... Let's spend our credits here. Dan, give this thing a shot. Hey, looks like it works after all. There's probably more of these things around. Keep your eyes peeled. Too damn quiet here. Keep your eyes peeled. Shit, I knew it. Watch out for that machine gun fire! Dan, aim for the gas cylinder!
Dan, leave some for the rest of us, huh? We got the bonus situation to think about. Hey, don't mean I want to do all the work. A dead end? Ain't there some way we can get past here? What the hell's that? Some kind of control panel? I get it. We can use it as a bridge to the other side. That's it, brother. Keep it up. Leave the enemy to me. You focus on that crane. to this. off more than we could chew. off more than we could chew. Ugh! <sighs> 
Shit, there's no end to this. over to the other side. All right. No sign of more scrap heads. So no rush, brother. We got time to catch our breath. We're definitely headed the right way. Be out of this place soon. And then time for the main event. You ready to party? Feels good to be working together again. Hard to believe we're both still alive after all this time. But I got a hunch we'll get through this one too. You feel me? That's my boy. Let's move out. You take point, brother. What are you trying to do? Watch out, got a mean looking customer here! They just keep coming! You alright, Dan? You need my help? Don't be reckless, you got me? Come from. Take that! Danny boy, a freaking star, man!
going on, brother. They got a lot of eyeballs out there. What do you say? Blitz them? more than we could chew. Looks like we'll just have to open this big-ass gate. It'll only open if we pull these levers together. All right, let's pull. We got company, and it's not looking friendly. It's closing, but it's pretty slow. Let's make a stand and keep them suckers out. Ooh, that was close. Gotta be kidding me. Do we got anything at all that'll damage this thing? First things first, take cover! Shit, this is bad. Gotta do something. Damn, check it out, up there. Looks like they use a crane in here. Bet we could use it to slam that container into the bastard. There's gotta be a control panel around here. Let's find it. Shit, there's no end to this!
Gotta open. Now, good. The bats are trying to get back up. Now's our chance. Get through that door, quick. Now, good. The bats are trying to get back up. Door, quick! Gotta open this door! Give me a hand! Get over here, quick! Get over here, quick! Not good! The bats are trying to get back up! Shit, there's no end to this! Dead end? You gotta be kidding me! Haha, <laughs> just what we needed. Dan, let's use that big old steel girder to deliver the knockout blow. I'll be the bait. You work the control panel. Hurry! Stop. I'll be the bait. You work the control panel. Uh. Hurry! Let him have it! What in the world? Uh, sir? I don't know who this man is. Drop your weapon. This is your first warning. Oh, those ships. Nothing but lies! Drop your weapon. This is your second and final warning. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you son of a bitch! Why? Externally indistinguishable from humans? When in God's name did robotics get this advanced? The tech to build a robot skinned in a living layer of cells has been around for some time now. It's just been illegal. Oh, it's much more than that, gentlemen. The AI is particularly fascinating. Far beyond our products here at Bergen. We can barely even analyze its neural structure. Well now, Mr. Bergen, this is ridiculous. You are supposed to have the most advanced R&D in the world. And now you're telling us that someone is just a teensy bit ahead of you. 
only because we haven't been allowed to venture into that potentially lucrative area, General. Perhaps if this government hadn't given in and signed the new Geneva Convention, the United States would be producing such robots already. We're a God-fearing country, Mr. Bergen, and only he may create life. Mr. President, this isn't life. Convincing as it may be, it's still a robot. We call them hollow children. If it's indistinguishable from humans, where does the machine end and life begin? Well, this is philosophical bullshit. There are only two things that matter now. Number one, if you did not make this thing, then who did? And number two, why did it come after you? What do we know about this hollow child? It was granted a green card 30 years ago under the name Dominic Barry. 30 years? Jesus H. Christ! If not for yesterday's events, we may never have found out it existed. We're now certain there are more living among us in America. Well, now that's insane. Not really, General. Now just what in the hell do you think you're doing? You see... It would appear that hollow children actually believe they're human. Well, oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> I'm no goddamn. Mr. President. I can think of only one man with the knowledge and resources to build this robot. Dr. Yoji Amada. Huh. Recognized genius in the field of AI and founder of Amada, Japan's largest robotics corporation. You don't sound too sure. So this photograph is 40 years old. Amada hasn't been seen in public since. That's crazy. He'd be 80 years old by now. The Amada Corporation is in league with Japan's New Order. I read about them. Isolationists. Self-sufficiency, that's right? Yes, sir. They wield a lot of influence over the Ministry of Homeland Affairs. And you really think they're behind this infiltration? Besides myself, Amada is the only man I know who's capable of this. Get me the IRTA in Geneva. <laughs> Woo! There's our way out, man! Yeah. What a plan, huh? Right? Right. This part of your big plan, too? <laughs> 